You're back. I'm Mandy. I'm Dan. Subscribe to Buzz Chomp. Woo! Woo. Westworld Season 2 Reaction. I don't know about you, but I found that the Westworld Season 2 finale was kind of amazing, bonkers, expected, but wonderful. Bottom line, we are dealing with five different realities. I can understand how this may have bothered some people, but personally, I love this. Everything that happened was kind of what I expected and very much what I predicted. Man in Black, if you didn't see it, there was an end credit scene. He's been living in the Forge, as far as we, the viewers, are concerned, for probably all of season two. It's possible he was there in season one, but that's kind of crossing a line. I don't think the show would do that. That sets up five realities. I will spell them out, and then we're going to dive in. There is the Forge, the Cradle, the world within the Forge created specifically for the host by Bernard to save them. What we perceive to be reality, and then there's the truth. That's five. I can only imagine the writers of the show have... A giant board, it's probably a digital board now, but it would have been a whiteboard in days past, where they've laid them out, and then they've put in the columns what they've actually showed us, and then they've checked the things that are true or false or blah, blah, blah. The Man in Black, a.k.a. William, got shot at the party at the end of season one, and then that's where he stayed, in what we perceive to be reality. Reality number one. What the audience thinks is real. That's... I think he was there the whole time, and then everything we watched in season two was him in the forge. Now, the hole in that is that I thought the forge was based on his memories, and if he never lived it, how could he experience it in the forge? But if they just dropped him in the scenario and let it play out from that party forward, and he does the same thing over and over and over again and always ends up in the same place, they're trying to create fidelity. They kind of have done it in the forge with him. Reality versus the truth. Where did William, like, is he alive? Did he die? Do we know? Now, because the show is not intentionally confusing, it showed us William alive at the end on the beach. It showed us his daughter dead on the beach. That would line up with him having just been shot at the party and then retrieved by the crew. And then everything we saw him go through was in the forge. And he kind of was tuned into that. And he was tuning us in as an audience member that this was a miss. This was not real. And then when he went down the elevator and he wasn't in the elevator, when Bernard came up the elevator, we knew that they weren't in the same place. Those were two different realities. But the truth, technically, everything we've ever saw of the man in black could have been inside the forge. The forge contains an exact replica of the entire world. Therefore, we don't know if William is actually alive. He could have died a long time ago. Maybe his wife never died. Maybe he's the one that died. Maybe he is creating these false memories for himself in the, the forge to supplement the devastation or they planted a memory to see that subtle change and how it would ripple forward that's what they do they change things and see how it affects this version of the host human i'll say host human what is reality this is the crux of where westworld is going it it, it basically bernard and dr ford had the conversation about what does it mean to actually have free will and basically they're like well no humans have free will. No hosts have free will. The only creature that could have free will is a hybrid. And Bernard is unique in being the first and only hybrid at the moment of his kind. Where they created him based on a human, but then changed him more like a host. And he's somewhere in the middle, and he has free will. Now, I don't completely agree with humans lacking free will. But basically, every decision we make is a consequence of who we are. So technically, if you knew that list of things that defined us, you would be able to say exactly what we would do each time. Now, humans do change and evolve. We learn things. 
And those lessons allow us to grow as people and become different people and make new decisions, new choices. But if our story arc is to have us learn a lesson and change, then it's predetermined. That's the whole crux of this free will discussion. Piggybacking on that is the decision of, of reality. What is reality? And I think this is where the season's gonna go in season three. We are gonna follow William, it will be William's story. What does it mean to be real? If you are conscious and the world is what you're experiencing it to be, that is the real world for you. It does not matter if you exist in a world within the forge that was transported to a satellite in digital space, or if you exist as a metallic plastic host in our world with a brain that we created. The physical versus the, I guess you could call it almost spiritual, is what's competing in Westworld. And so this safe haven for the hosts is basically a spiritual world for them, but they exist. I mean, they're living their flesh and blood. They can get hurt in there, and that's real for them. It doesn't appear real from the outside, but for them, it's just as real as where they were in the first place. That's really why I love this show, because it kind of expands your mind and it forces you to consider things that just seem far-fetched, but they're not. And they're not really off base of what our actual life and world is like, because we don't particularly understand it very well. And that's why this show is awesome. Where it's going with the five realities. Dolores was season one, and we got exposed to reality number one, which is what we think we're watching as the viewer, and the truth, which was reality number two when we realized we were watching the past and William's past. And it really only had the two, as far as we know. It's very possible we watched some of The Forge. It's very possible we watched some of The Cradle. We don't know. But it's unlikely, because those were introduced in season two, and it would be kind of cruel for the writers to have worked those in before they even told us they existed. Bernard is wrestling between reality of the present and the truth of whatever transpired before that. He's also in the cradle, he's also in the forge, and he created reality number five. We aren't quite sure, I have to rewatch season two now because we're not quite sure who's where throughout the season as we're watching it. But with the knowledge at the end of where everyone ends up, in which reality they finish, we can go and figure out where they were all along. My gut says William's daughter is not dead. I also am not convinced his wife is dead. I also am not convinced that William himself is alive. These three things are three major questions and it's no coincidence season three will be all about William and he will be in the forge, he will be in reality and we will get some truth. A big criticism, what does this matter? The fact of the matter is, it's just interesting and cool. You don't need to necessarily pull for characters because there's always a way for them to exist somewhere when there are five realities. And if they're existing, they're alive. Yes, Dolores is officially the Deathbringer. Yes, Bernard is officially the Peacekeeper. So now we have two enemies that we never expected to be at odds with one another. And I have a feeling, yes, the man in black thinks he sided with Dolores, but he's not gonna end up there. He's gonna have to side with Bernard but that's if he's even alive. There are way more hosts sprinkled through all of reality number one Pruma than we, when we really knew, but that was a given, we expected that. I find it fun that Charlotte was actually Dolores in our primary present reality all season. I find it fun that we don't actually know who's alive or dead or who's existing in which state of being. This is interesting to me. It's why it's the freaking crazy ass bonkers sci-fi. That's why it makes it so strong. I don't know if they're really gonna spin down this five realities rabbit hole. I think they may just set sail to the one where most of the hosts went, but Teddy's there. And so that makes me think they aren't gonna completely let go of the safe haven reality of our hosts. Teddy's there. The Forge reality can't go anywhere because that's where the man in black is as we laugh left him. And the cradle reality, well, that's just freaking interesting, and that may be where some of these hosts, like Teddy, come to be once again. Open question, 
Maeve, she's going to come back to life, even though she was shot dead. And though she was shot dead, when Dolores was shot, she didn't die, but I guess that was in the forge, so that's why. Maeve is going to come back to life. Will she still have her abilities? Will she use them for good or bad? Ultimately, she's the most interesting character to me, and I believe season three will be about William. At one point in time, the story is going to be 100% about Maeve. It was much more about her this season, and we found out that she's Dr. Ford's favorite, and so he gave her these powers. That's not going anywhere. Ford's not going anywhere. All I know is I'm more hooked than ever because I like being confused, and I like thinking outside the box, and that's Westworld. I'm Dan Salem. Subscribe to the Bunch Jump YouTube channel. We are always covering the most badass TV and film. Plus, we got fitness every week. New videos every day. Comment below. What do you think of the finale? Are you confused? Do you have answers for me? Something that I missed? Oh, yeah. Tune back in real soon. Woo! Westworld Season 2 Reaction. Thanks for watching Buzz Chop. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. share.